Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be um, showing you my top picks for back to school shopping of what you should buy. Good. If you are into photography, um, the Nikon D80 is a good choice. Um, I think it's like two, three hundred bucks. I think. Um, the Sigma lens is a great lens. If there's something on it, don't touch it. By the way, it has a good screen. This, um, this one I don't have a battery for it anymore. No more charger. So you know where I can buy one for cheap. Please leave it in the comments and I will give you a shout out. Um, obviously you can move lens. Okay, now for calculators. There's really three different choices that I would recommend. This normal calculator, this one's older, but, um, yeah. normal calculator, like this type of styles, if you just have them in your desk. Um, the Casio HR. 100 LC dual cutter print. You can print the answers on here and stuff. Not really good for s mostly school. Back. Now for a good school computer, I'm not going to pick up, but I have uh, like four or five of them, I'm pretty sure. The Optiplex, like nine something, I cannot remember. Like the Optiplex computers are a good one. Now for pens, the Pilots. BPS fine is I like this pen. This one's good. Um, pencil, non-mechanical is um, are the four B ones. They don't have eraser, but these are really dark. So if you are into art, you should use these. Now these pencils, these pencils are great. You can upgrade them and stuff. Like I personally like this one, clear point. Also the easy switch or whatever it's called. Forgot what it's called. It's also a good choice. Yeah, just like that other calculator, the one that said TV Guide. This one's a little bit old, but the Frank, the Franken, um, the one came out in 2008, OEC 570. This is a good, um, this is a good one. I use this one personally. And this one's a great pair with a pen that folds on the floor. It's a great pair with the uh, Casio FX9750 G2. This is an amazing calculator upgrade for my TI-84 Plus Silver Edition. I gave it to my mom at Little Black Spots. Um, you can attach like heart rates and stuff. You can program. This one's a really good option. I found this for a dollar. One dollar at a thrift store. The screen's a little bit smaller, but just hardly you can tell. The next thing that's really good are these um, erasers. The, the Paper Mate... Paper Mate Expression. Mm. Now you can, now just easy erase well if you like colorful full markers and erasers. It's quite neat. I like these ones. Now if you need rubber bands, um, these ones are dollar staples. Um, Canadian. Um, assorted size rubber bands. I use these in a few videos. I got three of them. I use these sometimes. And it's not really sealed up properly. Pencil sharpener, the studio. This is a slim one, but there's also another good one. Now this one's a little bit bigger, but it like sharpens pencils better. So this one you just keep in like your school little case that we'll show you in a sec. Um, and now, um, these come with all the Paper Mate pencils. Um, Paper Mate, Graphite Leads. So, yeah. Um, it comes out like that. And then with these, oh, and I don't know if this is, no, this, I think these will work out. Yeah, but, yeah, these are the right ones. So, if, so if you get one of these cheap ones, Personally, I like this little thing. It's easier, so what I'm going to do. That's probably that. Probably broke a few. Oh, there's a few left. I'm gonna put those in this one. That's what I do with these, and pretty much the rest of my friends who use mechanical pencils. I'm remove this cap.
to it as you can see this one's full and these I don't know what I'm gonna do with them I'm gonna keep them for something actually okay now these come with these ones now if you don't want to lose these uh, they don't fit Excuse me. Well, 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 I guess you can do this so you don't lose them. This is what I'm going to do with them. There. Just going to stay like that. I'm going to use one of my rubber bands that fell out that I also bought. Most of this stuff is from Staples except for the, any of the technology. Then perfect. You can use these for that. And then the most generic paper made ink joy pens. These are great pens. And if you want to do good um, photography stuff, these are really good mats. You can find these are table mats. They work good for this stuff, and that's what I use them for. So we, this is all the stuff. This like the most expensive things is this and this stuff and the camera. Now, if you want. To get used items that are not brand new and want to save money, which everybody does. This all stuff I'm using for school. This this is my favorite thing. This sort of stuff. my friend gave it to me. And then the last thing for this this stuff is the zip it um school case there's a fake carbon fiber one she looks very real like i almost thought it was real carbon fiber until i saw these as the same price and this is obviously not carbon fiber my friend has a real carbon fiber one and i just saw these and i was like oh that's neat so i grabbed this one to like this cutter anyway for budgets used items is this Casio, um, and then this TV Guide one, and then these. These are good used calculators to get. Um, now most of this stuff's gonna be tech because people don't sell used pencils on eBay. Well, some people do, but anyway. Um, now for like computers, the white MacBook from 2009 to 2010. These are good. Machines just for regular school throw in a bag. This one I repair computers as you can see my from my channel. This one's just a shell. I'm gonna be making this good. Um, but for used PCs, Optiplex 390 is a really good option. You usually find them for one to two hundred dollars. Now if you need a fitness watch for a fitness watch, smart watch. Um, you can get this, you can get a gear fit too, but you should go for like fifty two hundred dollars I think. Now this is the worst example. This one works, but it has chips right here, and it's just completely falling apart. My dad used this when it came out all day, every day, even at night. And then I got it, but the battery didn't even work. After like a few months of my dad using it, it was do a little bit but so he charged it all the time and then I replaced the battery and then I worn it out in a couple of months so yeah and then it started falling apart this thing came off and then this wristband came off and then this came off these are still good watches if you need cheap one now for a cheap used camera for basic photography like not bad but just decent is this one the Canon PowerShot SD's 700 IS. Like, um, I found this one $15 at a thrift store. Now, this one has a flaw. The coating right here has worn off from people rubbing it too hard. Now, now the features of this is it features uh, digital AV and mini USB. Mm -hmm. Now I have this loose carrying case for it. Mm -hmm. I have this Canon battery thing. Yes, you cannot charge it. Normally you have to take out the battery. Which is fine. This one lasts 
forever. It was at a thrift store for like a few months until I decided to buy it and it was still at full charge. So yeah, I've not even charged it yet. This is good. I don't have an SD card on hand. They lost it. Yeah. Anyway, turning it on. You can change the settings. You can zoom in four times. Now, another one that's big like is the Nikon. So yes, one IS. I used to have that one. It was pretty good. Sorry about that. Anyway. You see some quality you can't really see because it's on a screen. The screen is a little bit lower resolution, but still pretty good. Like I, I would personally use this camera if I had an SD card with me right now. Now for a good phone for school, this is very important. Is the iPhone 6s like they're cheap? Once two hundred dollars, filming on it right now. And I like this phone because newer Apple ones don't have a headphone jack and the home button on the iPhone 7 is weird. Then the newer iPhones don't have a home button at all. So the iPhone success is good. Now if you want to go really budget like $50, iPhone 5, iPhone 4S, definitely not iPhone 4 though. Um, now for tablets, an iPad 4 is a good one. Not for free or the two, definitely not for the first gen, but for an Android phone, recommended um, an S5, S6, or S7. The S6 and S7 are the, um, are the decent ones, not great though, but if you want a brand new one I would, and you don't care about the features on a phone and you're not very tech savvy, um, an iPhone 11 or 10R is a good one, um, a Samsung Galaxy A series that are newer. Um, is a decent one. Now, for monitors, for computers, the Philips are a good choice too. Um, so yeah, if you need a microphone, the Blue Snowball is a good one. And the... Now this is a, is a good microphone. I use it for other stuff now it's good for Skype and stuff and you can hold it up and then and then with these buttons you can program them and change them and do different stuff. There's the old disc. Now these are very small. You need to make sure that your C D drive has a small indent where you can put it in. These are six dollars at thrift stores, brand new. So I'm assuming you can find one for a very similar price. A decent microphone it's actually really not bad i think it's it's decent now if you need props for filming for youtube or whatever these fake plants are good fake plants from ikea if you just need fake plants put on your desk or whatever these are good ones And now, if you need, I have to move all this stuff out of the way. If you need a little small, small carpet, still really soft for ten dollars. Oh, it's so soft. This one from IKEA. It's, it's really soft. I use it for this big table over here. Now that is pretty much all that I have to show. Put this back. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. And first comment on each one of the new videos before the other one is released gets a shout out. We have to comment, like, and subscribe the video. Bye.